In this tutorial video, I would like to explain something more about the references and specifically how you can navigate in these books. So first of all, I click once on this button of the references and my table of contents of all my reference documents opens. And as you know, on the references, we group many types of documents, for example, Materia Medica, Provings, Journals, etc. Now let's say I want to go to the hearing and look up a specific remedy. So first of all here at the top I can just start to type the first characters. I say H-E-R and here it is, Hearing Guiding Symptoms. Now if I single click on it, at the right side it opens. But I also could have clicked here on the triangle, then clicked here on the next level Materia Medica and I could have clicked here directly on the remedy. So here, Aletris Farinosa, at the right side, it opens this remedy. Now, if at the left, I click here again on the title level of the hearing, you see at the right side, again, I'm at the title. Now, inside each reference document, so each Materia Medica or each journal, in the left upper corner, there's the navigation icon exactly the same as in the repertory. When I click on it, it opens the structure, the chapters of this document. So I see here there's an introduction, a preface and Materia Medica. I click here on the Materia Medica and then click here, for example, on Cedron. Then you see the chapters of this remedy, but I click here on Go To to go to the name of the remedy, to the chapter Cedron. So you see here for Cedron, it starts with some introduction and then it starts the real Materia Medica, the real symptoms. Now, if you click on one of the symptoms, at the top you will always see the navigation path where you are. So I'm now here in the guiding symptoms. This is the Materia Medica of Cedron and you're in the chapter Mind. So let me repeat. You can navigate, you can browse through a reference document, through a Materia Medica, for example, in the following ways. In the table of contents, you can look up the book. So, for example, let me go now to the Allen. So, the Allen Encyclopedia. I single click on it, and at the right side, it opens. Now, you see that it did not open here a second tab. But because it is also a reference document, it has opened it in the same tab. So in this tab, I have now the Allen Encyclopedia open and the Guiding Symptoms of Hearing. So I can navigate in the Allen Encyclopedia to a remedy in the following ways. At the left here in the table of contents, I can also click here on the triangle in front of the document and then click here on the remedy but i can also do that here in the left upper corner via the find icon i click on it and then i can go to that remedy for example here cascarilla and i click here on ok so whenever you're in a document so for example i click here now in mouth in bitter a rough taste when smoking at the top you see the symptom path always pointing to where you are. So I'm now in here the Allen Encyclopedia, I'm in Cascarilla, in the chapter mouth, and at this symptom. Now, in Radar Opus, we have something very unique. You can take any text also into one of your clipboards. Now, for example, here I am in a real Materia Medica, so there's a remedy connected to it. So bitter, rough taste, the remedy Cascarilla is connected to it. And I can even drag and drop it to my symptom clipboard. So let me do it. I just point to it and I drag to my symptom clipboard and let go and it's added. But I have to be very careful, of course, because it's like taking a symptom in the repertory with only one remedy connected to it. So you have to be careful when you do a traditional uh, repertorization and a traditional analysis that such symptoms are not overrepresented. 
but you could also take such symptoms, such texts, in a separate clipboard. So I often do that when I'm studying and I come across to something interesting. I don't really want to take it in my analysis, but I take it into another clipboard. Let me do that. For example here, this one, a sensation of uh, deep swelling uh, deep down in the throat. I point to it and drag it to a, one of the other clipboards. For example, the last one I use for a kind of reference. Now, it is so unique because you made now a kind of a link, a kind of a bookmark. So whenever you recall this case and you click on that symptom, you will go back to this position. I will show you this in a minute. First, let me point to the following. You saw that I pointed to one of the symptoms and dragged it to a clipboard. Now that's the same like in the synthesis. So in the synthesis, I go here to the synthesis, I can point to a rubric and then just drag it to my clipboard and let go. So the same can be set in your uh, reference documents. But it depends on how you have set this. So you can do two things in your uh, reference documents. First, you can just point to a symptom and drag it to a clipboard. But also, often you would like to select a part of the text. So, for example, here, a part of text like this, and you want to copy and paste it to, for example, a Word document. Now, you can set the program in two ways. That you would like to have your default action of your mouse, that it selects a part of text or that you would like to have it reacting like drag and drop. You can do that here in the right upper corner via the local options. There is a setting of the mouse function. Now the mouse function can be set to highlight text or drag and drop. So drag and drop is like the following. I point to a symptom and I drag it here. For example, the last one I use as my own reference clipboard and I let go and it's in there. If I set it to highlight text, it means, let me go now to a different position, let, let me start here, I can move my mouse over the text and it selects the text. So it depends on how you have set your uh, program. So I click here again, drag and drop, so that that is the default action and I close here my local options. Also, most probably, there will be added here an icon on which you can click so that you can switch to the text selection function. Now, with the keyboard, you can also select text. If I hold down on the keyboard the Alt key, I can select text like this. Okay, so anywhere I just point to the location, I hold down my Alt key on the keyboard and drag over it and I select the text and I can copy it and paste it in another document. So let me summarize. Let me close here now this document and close here my clipboard. Okay, so the references you can navigate in the same way as like in a repertory. In a repertory in the left upper corner you also have here the find icon it opens and you will see the chapters in that repertory. Okay, if I open here another document, so let's not do a Materia Medica, but let's go for example to a journal. I have here the journals. So for example, let me see if I can find the original uh, journal which Kent had published. So here it is, the homeopathician. So I can single click on it and at the right side it opens. I can at the left here click on the triangle to see the structure of that uh, document, of that journal. I can click here in front of the volume one and I see here the chapters of that journal. But also in the left upper corner via the local find icon, I can click on it and also see the structure of that document. 
I can click here on, for example, volume one, and I see an address preliminary to the study of homeopathics. I click on it, and there it is. It is a lecture by James Tyler Kent. Now, whenever I'm looking through my library, I come across to a case, or like here, I come across to some interesting text. I can always point to it and drag it to my clipboard, and I keep it as a kind of a reference. So I could save this case, this, this analyzes in fact, but this set of clipboards under a special name. So then I can recall that analyzes again, and I can use it to always go back to that location. Let, let me demonstrate. I close here this document. Let me just open here my analyzes. Let me select all symptoms and delete them. I delete them. Yes. Okay. So here I have my reference clipboard, which I call myself my reference clipboard. And I can save it. So I do a right mouse click on one of the clipboards and say save analysis. And I save it here to a folder, so it's saved as a separate uh, analysis. And I say, for example, uh, James Tyler Kent interesting article, or whatever. Interesting, so I forgot the T. Okay, and I save it. Now I do a right mouse click, and I clear all the clipboards. I close in my analysis window. So let's say I want to find back that location which I found interesting, that interesting article. I just do right mouse click, I recall this analysis, I click her on recall analysis from a folder, so in fact it's the analysis is your set of clipboards, and I want to go to that James Tyler Kent interesting article. I double click on it to open it. Okay, here's my clipboard. And you see that, let me open this a bit, that I had taken here a few items from the Materia Medica I was looking in. Now there were two which had a remedy connected to it, and one was just a link to a document. I double click on it, it will now automatically go in my library, go to that journal, and jump immediately to that location where, which I found interesting. That is one of the unique things of Radar Opus. So I think this was it for this video.